Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're doing an exciting reading that was suggested by one of my beautiful subscribers. So if you have any more suggestions let me know down in the comments. In today's reading we're going to be doing what they would tell you if they were drunk or high. So this is a juicy reading. I'm very excited to see what shows up for you. I would suggest those that aren't over the age of 18 to not watch this reading because I don't know what to expect from this. You know, it could include some adult messages or just messages from the heart from them. So this could be what they tell you over text message or a call or in person as well. Okay, so since we're doing such a beautiful reading today, that is so juicy, <laughs> uh, you can grab a snack, a drink, and chill and enjoy with me. I have a little bit of juice here, wink wink. <laughs> As always, take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm now going to show you your crystals for each pile. So for pile number one, we have amethyst. For pile number two, we have citrine. And for pile number three, we have green ventrine. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, there may be more messages there for you. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this amethyst crystal and the card naked this reading is for you, we're going to be taking a look at what would they tell you if they were drunk or high for the person on your mind. So this can be through a text message, through a call or just in person. So as we do this juicy reading, I have a drink here, some juice. <laughs> Wink, wink. Um, so if you'd like, you can get, grab a drink or some snacks uh, and just sit here and enjoy and chill with me. So the first card you chose was from the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. We're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck, the Vanessa Tarot, the Messages from Mermaids Oracle deck, as well as the Queer Tarot. So let's get started with your reading. Remember, take what resonates, leave the rest. So I will be sipping a little bit as I go along for all three piles. <laughs> so I feel from this card you chose, you know, it's a depicting a mermaid here. And you know, all across different countries and different folklore, we see different stories of mermaids, some showing, you know, very beautiful creatures that have beautiful voices, that have this ability to just lure people in and have this gentle gracefulness to them. Whereas we also see some stories about some scary creatures that are able to lure sailors to their death, okay? <laughs> through the song and put them under this hypnotization spell where they can't think clearly and all they can do is follow this mermaid and eventually fall to their doom. So I feel what this card is showing here, <laughs> what this person would tell you if they were drunk or high. I feel like they would want to see you in person and if they were to call you or text you I'm I'm getting the vibe like they'd want to come towards you they'd want to be next to you kind of like you know how the sailor is lured in by the mermaid you know you are kind of like unintentionally luring this person in 
And maybe it is the alcohol talking and maybe it is their other state of mind talking. But I feel like this person is going to find you irresistible in that moment and find you hard to resist in that sense where they want to be next to you. They want to kiss you even. I'm seeing kissing and I'm seeing them maybe even say to you that you are irresistible or that you are sort of like luring them in or <laughs> maybe that wouldn't be said but maybe they would tell you that you are alluring and that they can't resist you, that they just want more and more and more of you. So that's a vibe I get from this card. And since this card is naked, <laughs> you know, we may see some spicy messages here. Maybe they'd want to um, have a little bit of a sexy chat with you or get undressed in some way. <laughs> um, and I'm feeling this energy of passion and like them wanting to kiss you or kiss your neck. I'm hearing the song Body Language by Kali Uchis. And in the song, she says something along the lines of, we've done enough talking, it's now body language. So I guess this person would want to show you through a physical show or intimacy of how they feel rather than saying it with their words. <laughs> Um, so we may see some spicy messages here. You know, they may tell you that you're very beautiful, that they love to hear your voice since a mermaid or a siren has a beautiful voice regardless of your gender. They may tell you how attractive you are, that they just find your voice so hypnotizing that they can't get enough of you. Okay. <laughs> So let's have a little bit of a sip here and then I'm going to take a look at your cards. Spirit is also clairvoyantly showing me a rose. So maybe they'd want to bring you something. I'm feeling the vibe like if they had to call you or text you, they could say these things to you. But I'm feeling like they'd say to you, like, I want to see you. I want to see you right now. Like, I need to see you right now. <laughs> um, and maybe they'd want to bring something to you. Even if it's not a rose, maybe they'd want to bring some wine or bring something to you, like a gift or something... Something very sweet and romantic, okay? I feel like you and this person, since you chose the amethyst crystal, it's like your eyes do all the talking. <laughs> um, it's like you two can sort of look at each other and have this telepathic bond where you know what the other person is thinking or feeling. So spirit guides of pile one. In love and light, may we please see what this person, the person on their mind, would tell them if they were drunk or high? What would they tell them if they were drunk or high? Okay, so we have two cards here. Three cards. <laughs> I was hearing a song for you, but I held back from telling you because I didn't know yet. I wanted to make sure. Okay, so I before I tell you the card, let me tell you the song I heard. I heard that song, Is It Too Late Now to Say Sorry? That one that's like, because I'm missing more than just your body. <laughs> and then here we have the I'm sorry card. <laughs> so that's a beautiful confirmation. Maybe they would apologize for something for those of you that would resonate with that. It may not resonate with everyone that they could say sorry for something it would depend on what this is for all of you watching it could be something different i feel this energy since there's two both of their hearts are shining out here it it's like they'd come to you from a true place of their heart you know and really want to bring i'm seeing like the distance closer does that make sense? Okay. 
the first card that came out was Deep Silver Helix. So, since we have an angel in this card, they come to you with pure intentions. And, you know, since the first card is naked, I feel like that's not just their intention. It's not just that. But they miss you, not just your body. They miss everything about you, your scent, your touch, your kisses, your love. And if it's not missing, that's what they crave and that's what they tell you. Like, I don't just want that, but like, I want to heal something between us, you know. And we see pure intentions here, so that's a good sign. And we have lifting the veil with questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. So maybe they'd give you a chance to ask them a question of what is on your mind and they would answer truthfully and honestly okay so this is very beautiful <laughs> i'm hearing that song that's like i can't feel my face when i'm with you <laughs> so okay um we have a lot of music coming through so maybe they like to listen to music when they are Drunk or high, thinking about you. We have magic. They tell you that you are so magical. You're so mystical. That they're under your spell. And acceptance. So... Accepting the situation for what it is, but wanting something different. Wanting to heal something here. It's beautiful. I guess they'd say, baby, I'm under your spell. I can't resist you. Like, I can't stop thinking about you, is what I'm hearing. I can't get over you. I'm missing you. I'm craving you. I need you. <laughs> this is all the things I'm hearing and feeling. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So they tell you they want to, you know, put in more effort. And maybe that was the rose I was seeing, like... Put in more effort, give to you more, um, work on the connection in some way. Then we have the moon. The first thought that came to mind is I've been dreaming of you. I've been thinking of you. Like, I can't stop obsessing over you. That's the first thought that came to mind. I know that's not what the moon means. But maybe they'd also share some type of hidden feeling here with the moon. Hidden feelings they have towards you that they didn't, that you didn't know they had, okay? And I'm hearing like you're, you're a rare gem to this person. And, you know, the naked card is also not just about sensuality. It's also about sharing emotional vulnerability where you are naked, where you are like an open book. Okay, so they would share a hidden part to themselves, a hidden side to their emotions that they are normally shy to feel, but maybe the liquid courage would help them open up and find the right words to say. So we definitely see something here about feelings. Let's take another sip before we look at your tarot. So that song that I sang about Is It Too Late Now To Say Sorry keeps playing over in my mind. <laughs> and I'm clairvoyantly seeing those movies, you know, where... Like, let's say the man, for example, is apologizing to the woman, comes outside her house with, with like, music playing, you know. Like, I'm clairvoyantly seeing that, so I don't think this person, I don't think that means this person would do that, but more so they'd want to express their love in a very big way, where uh, they are going a little bit outside of their comfort zone, Okay. And I'm feeling like this person isn't usually comfortable sharing their emotions, sharing their feelings. But with you, it's like they want to share that. 
and maybe this is something they may say to you, like, um, when they are drunk or high, like, I don't usually tell, you know, or I'm not usually comfortable speaking about this, but I want to open up to you. So they would definitely ask for your forgiveness for some of you. And for others of you that are in separation, you know, some of the messages may not resonate with everyone. Uh, they would tell you that they've been scared to talk to you because I'm feeling the throat chakra energies and like this person being a little bit shy to talk to you. But when they are in another mindset due to the state they're in, as per this reading topic, um, they'd have a little bit more courage to open up about their feelings. And I'm getting the vibe they may say to you for those in separation, like, can I please have your forgiveness? And, um, you know, like, I've been watching you on social media or I've been watching you from afar and, like, it kills me to see you without me or, you know, being okay without me or just not knowing who how you are just not speaking to you every day with the moon there is some kind of mystery here like them not liking that mystery them wanting to be close to you we have the nine of swords so there is a sense of worry here and like are they okay are they missing me the way i'm missing them i'm clairvoyantly seeing um a post i read on instagram a long time ago that was like when you're looking at the moon it was a quote or something like when you're looking at the moon are you thinking of me we're looking at the same moon something along those lines i don't remember what it's called we have the nine of wands so they could address some kind of challenge here in the connection and since we see two nines nine is a number of release and since the Wheel of Fortune is at the back of the deck, when they were to say this to you, or if they were to say this to you when they are drunk or high, um, it would be at the right time, the right moment in time, like astrologically, divine timing. Um, and they'd want to change things around with you, turn things around with you, release some of the challenges here since there is a full moon here. The full moon is all about release, and since this is a pink full moon, I see it as coming back to love. Um, and releasing some challenges here, saying that they have been worried about you, they've been anxious being without you, not seeing you. You know, maybe they tell you they put in more effort, work on themselves. We have the six of swords, so they'd want to change something here in the situation to release these challenges, whatever this is, or tell you a little bit more about their worries, tell you a little bit more about what's on their mind, open up to you if you aren't in separation. Okay, so spirit cats on my pile number ones, what they would say to my pile number ones if they were drunk or high. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> confirmation okay I see there's not enough space there let's just do this we have the page of swords and with the page of swords I kind of get the vibe <laughs> the moon at the back of the deck oh my gosh so many synchronicities here um, I kind of get the vibe like this person would, how I said before, want to speak up about something they're not used to speaking about. Like, if they're not used to speaking about their feelings, they do it in this circumstance. Or if they um, are not used to talking about what's on their mind or what's going on in their own life, you know... Like, I feel for some of you, this person has been kind of distanced because they've been going through things in their own life too. Like, if you're not in separation and maybe for them, it's like a little bit hard to open up about their feelings or feelings in the relationship. And with the Page of Swords, 
I get the sense, I'm hearing the word courage, like they'd be able to have courage to say the things that have been on their mind, that have been uh, worrying them, okay, and with the Wheel of Fortune, something about that would change something in your connection, as well as the Six of Swords, we see this energy of change, and change for the better, I'm looking at the snake here, transformation, let's just take one more sip, and then I'm going to pull a few more cards, and then uh, close off this reading, So, what I want to say is, I'm also hearing another song. We see a lot of themes of missing you. I'm hearing a song, I'm not sure who it's by, but it's something like, um, I miss you every day, something like that. I think it's Beyonce, if I'm not mistaken. I miss you every day, something like that. I'm hearing the melody of it. <laughs> that I can't remember the song. I think I listened to it a long time ago, so it's not a coincidence that I'm hearing a lot of songs about missing you. So what exactly, what, what exactly would they tell my pile number ones about what they're feeling? Give us the juicy details. Spill the tea st uh, spirits. We have the Empress. We have the Fool card. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. So we see lots of themes of missing you. Okay, and then we have the Temperance card. So what exactly they would tell you? With the Empress, they'd compliment you a lot on how beautiful you are as a person inside and out, regardless of your gender. We have the High Priestess at the back of the deck. So they may speak from this place of connecting to their higher self, is the first thought I'm getting. And speaking from a place of truth is what I'm hearing. So what they what it is they would tell you is that they want to start over here with you with the fool. That they can't let go of you. That they want to hold you. I'm seeing that with the four of pentacles. I'm hearing Donkey's voice. Do you want to hold her? Do you want to please her? Something like that. He said that in some scene. <laughs> Donkey from Shrek. Uh, so I want to hold you. I want to please you. I want to keep you in my life. I want to keep you forever. I want to keep you for a long time. Maybe that's something they don't always say or don't usually say. Uh, with the Two of Swords, I feel this energy of making a choice to heal whatever happened in the past with the Temperance card. You know, if a lot of these messages don't resonate, then, you know, this may not be your pile. So just Take a look back at the intro and see what other piles you're drawn to. Or maybe some messages came through, but maybe some didn't resonate. But we keep seeing a theme here of healing something from the past, alchemizing something, uh, changing something here, making a choice to, to really commit or making a choice to start over on a blank page. With loyalty here with the dog, with honesty, with truthfulness. I'm seeing the justice card clairvoyantly, so yeah, and and I see them coming with pure intentions. I see them wanting to open up their heart to you, keep you close to them. This is what they would tell you. They would tell you they see you as wifey material, husband material. <laughs> they would tell you that they only want you. I'm hearing that song by Janae Aiko that's like, I can do better, you can do better too. I don't want better. It only gets better with you. So I feel them maybe saying, you know, like, yes, there may be, for example, like other people in the world that 
you know, I won't have challenges with or other people in the world that, you know, it may seem easier in on paper but like I want to be with you I only want you like you're the person I want regardless of what challenges we're experiencing we can fix that we can heal that like this is what I feel them saying <laughs> and I'm hearing from spirit they would kind of slur a little bit like if they were drunk but you'd feel in your heart and intuitively that this person's coming from a true place with the fool, I feel them maybe wanting to do something a little bit like impulsive, for example, book a hotel room or go on holiday with you or something like that, or kind of like come to your house, maybe without telling you. <laughs> um, Like that's a vibe I get here. So I think this is all I have for you, my pile number ones. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose the citrine crystal and the card alchemy from the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they would tell you if they were drunk or high. <laughs> so this is a juicy reading. Let's see what shows up for you. I have a drink here of juice, wink wink. <laughs> if you'd like to grab a drink, a snack, you're more than welcome to uh, spend this time with me and chill with me and let's see what the person on your mind would tell you. Okay, so let's get started with your reading, but before I do, please note this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. So we're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck, the Vanessa Tarot, the Messages from Mermaids Oracle, as well as the Queer Tarot. So I'm looking at the card you chose, and we see the word alchemy here. Straight away, I'm hearing that song... <laughs> by Lana Del Rey that's like let's ch ch change our DNA uh well what I take from that song is like merging with the person like and I feel this vibe of like them wanting to be close to you so similar to pile number one pile number one also had messages of healing so some of you may be from there or some of you were drawn to pile one um, but what I feel here is if they were to text you or call you, you know, I feel like they'd want to see you in person because from the song I heard, it's kind of like I felt this energy of like you two merging together. Even if it's not sensual, there is a sensual feeling here of like them desiring you heavily. <laughs> but I feel like that's not all they tell you um I feel like there'd may be more to it and I feel like there's a sense of like wanting to be close to you wanting to touch you wanting to be so close to you that it feels like you're almost merging into each other that it feels like you are becoming one <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, I'm kind of getting from your vibe, like, this couple energy of, like, uh, two peas in a pod or, you know, dynamic duo. <laughs> that type of energy of, like, we're a package deal. You'll always find us together. Um, I feel that energy heavily. And I kind of get, like, this person saying a joke because... This card came out with your intro card, Desire. And I'm looking at the arrow she's about to point. And I kind of get this vibe of like this person maybe saying to you, um, did you shoot me with the cu Cupid's arrow because like I'm falling in love with you so much? <laughs> or something along those lines, like something corny or like cute like that. I don't think it's corny, but some may. <laughs> But I feel like that energy of them saying something like that to you, like, I feel like I've been shot by a Cupid's arrow, or I feel like I, or them maybe wanting to shoot their shot with you, um, because they heavily desire something with you, uh, they heavily desire you, okay? I feel like 
there's this vibe of like you making them happy um, because I'm looking at the sun coming out here and the citrine crystal you chose I get this vibe of joy like you making them happy this may be something they tell you what's that song that's like cherry bomb something like that like cherry bomb cherry bomb <laughs> Ch -ch 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 cherry bomb something like that i don't know if i'm even saying it right um i'm hearing that in the back of my mind there is this force pulling them towards you uh if they were to be drunk or high it would feel to them as if some kind of force of nature is pulling them towards you and like they can't control themselves and I feel like they would share something to do with their emotions towards you and something to do with how happy you make them. There is a balance of divine feminine and masculine energies here. And that doesn't have to mean gender, but the type of energies of them opening up a little bit about their emotional side, but also sharing happy moments with you if they were drunk or high. Like I said, I feel like if they were to text you or call you, I feel like they'd want to see you in person. <laughs> they want to be next to you. They want to be close to you. They tell you that you have this royal energy, like a king or a queen. Maybe they would kiss you, like kiss your feet or like... <laughs> Not like in a um, fetish fetishized way, but more so like this type of way of like, I want to kiss your whole body from your toes up, like almost like the sense of like worshipping you. <laughs> um, I get that vibe, even if it's not exactly the way I say it, it's kind of like, I feel like they want to do little things for you, treat you like a king or a queen. Um, and that maybe that's something they would say to you if they were drunk or high. And since she is wearing a white dress, I see this as they would talk to you with pure intentions. And if they weren't to, I see the ang she's holding as you would be protected from them if they weren't. So, for example, let's say someone here has someone on their mind and let's say they don't come to you f with pure intentions like maybe your phone would be off or you wouldn't see their message or something like that but I feel for a lot of you they would come to you with pure intentions and I feel like they tell some kind of story with their words because I'm looking at the images here and it kind of uh, looks like some kind of prophecy like telling a story, maybe talking about your future together, like with prophecy, future energies, does that make sense? And maybe saying certain things to alchemize or heal the connection. Speak their truth as well. And like, want you to speak your truth too from the heart. That's what I feel here from your pile. So I'm going to take a small sip and then we're going to go ahead and pull your cards. So like I said, you're more than welcome to drink with me, have a snack with me, chill with me. So let's begin with your reading. So spirit guides on my spirit guides on my pile number twos. What would they say to my pile number twos? I'm hearing like drunk and horny. Like I didn't expect to hear that. I'm sorry. I, I don't want the reading to be vulgar, but <laughs> it's obvious they desire you. <laughs> okay, so spirit guides on my pile number twos. What would they say to my pile number twos if they were drunk or high? We have lost lands with soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. I feel like they tell you that they feel like they've known you before. Like maybe tapping into spiritual energies a little bit. Like they feel like they've known you before. They feel like they've known you their whole life. I'm also hearing that song that's like, um, I feel so close to you right now, something like that. So maybe they tell you like they feel so close to you. They feel like they can just share anything with you. 
They feel like something here is faded. Maybe they feel like you're their soulmate. You know, some of you may listen and be like, that sounds too good to be true. But like, that's the first thought coming to my mind. It feels like they've known you before in past lives and they have. And it feels like something is leading them towards you and it is. Okay, that's their intuition. So I feel like since we have at the back of the deck longing for home, homesick for the stars, maybe they would tell you that they have longed for a person like you all their life and you are exactly what they have wanted in love for a very long time or just in any kind of connection for a very, very long time and they feel like this dreaminess uh, from you, like maybe they tell you you're very dreamy, uh, you're very like desirable to them, but also very dreamy and you make them feel like the love is out of this world. <laughs> uh, you make them feel like they've been longing for for someone like you their whole life. It sort of feels surreal to them. Like, have I really met this person? Am I really in front of you right now? Like, that's a real feeling of I wish for something like this and it's happening before my eyes. Or that they've longed for you the whole day. That they've missed your touch, that they've missed your kisses. They've longed for you the whole day, <laughs> the whole week. Okay, we have trust. So they tell you that you can trust them that they're not gonna hurt you they tell you that you are a blessing to them <laughs> very cute okay let's look at these cards so what would they tell my pile number twos if they were drunk or high <laughs> ah, the lovers look at this lovers <laughs> Maybe they tell you, like, they see a future with you where it has this energies. Or for some of you, this is your spouse for maybe a few of you. Or for others of you, they see a future with you with commitment. Or they see themselves getting married to you. And maybe you would be like, oh, tell me this when you're sober. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like this would be what they tell you, like, the love they have for you. How much they they know this is theirs already. They know this is what they want already. Um, and they want to share that love with you. And we spoke about the energies of the future. So this is what we see here. We have the Nine of Cups, which is all about wish fulfillment. So if you don't believe me, <laughs> here is a literal sign. Like, I'm not going to make things up in the reading um, but the nine of cups literally represents wish fulfillment and then we also have the knight of cups with a love letter so maybe they would tell you something from their heart that it would feel like they are giving you a love letter but with their mouth with their words or maybe they would write you some kind of paragraph over a text message that is from their heart like a love letter but it's a little bit mysterious here since the love letter is already concealed in a an envelope. <laughs> Why am I forgetting words? Envelope, okay. Uh, so maybe they would tell you something they wouldn't usually tell anyone that is a little bit close to their heart. And maybe they would tell you like a lot because a love letter is not just a, a short paragraph it's like either pages or a whole page long full of love messages so they could either speak that to you in person or give that to you or give you a gift even look at the roses in the back a gift is significant or you know maybe say you know I want to take you out on a date um or you know, invite you to their house and cook for you and, you know, do something special for you, for example, and then uh, tell you about how they feel, tell you, you know, that they trust you, that you can trust them. So I feel that energy. 
So before we look at your tarot, I'm just going to take another sip <laughs> and let's get some more information. So I have a feeling by pile number three, <laughs> I'm going to be plugged. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, it's, it's a word. For this type titles topic <laughs> okay so spirit guides on my pile number twos may I please look into what they would say to my pile number twos if they were drunk or high I just felt a weird sensation and I swear like I'm not making this up but and I'm not condoning any sort of usage of anything but I'm just, I just felt like as if I was tripping, like everything went weird, like my vision went weird and it's not this. <laughs> like I really felt as if I was tripping, as if I was having certain visuals. It was like I was seeing colors and everything was like so trippy. I don't know how to explain it to you with words, but it was like even the cards went like that for a second. As if I went to another realm. <laughs> or maybe they would tell you, like, you make me feel trippy. Like, even if they smoked, for example. Let's say they would say, you know, you make me feel trippy. You take me to a whole nother magical world, like, where I feel like I'm tripping. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. These cards even just fell down. Do you see this? And I want to show you the card that fell out. It was the Two of Cups. Maybe they tell you they want to take you on a date. Um, or they want to go to your home and, you know, do something with you. Or have a date at their home, cook for you. Maybe drink some wine together as we see here in this picture. Um... They'd want to look into your eyes deeply and have some kind of deep conversation. And since all these cards fell out, I feel like they'd have a lot to tell you. Where, you know when you get really excited to talk to someone and you have a lot to say to them that you just get so excited and you're like, you know, I wanted to tell you this and this and this and this is what happened in my week and I missed you here and this is what happened and... Uh, you know, I thought about this, about our future, like, um, they would kind of talk a little bit in circles and say so many things at once that you, it might not even make sense to some of you, like, that's the vibe I get here, uh, they tell you that you're very dreamy, like, there's something very hypnotizing about you, uh, there's something about you where you make them feel like a kid, you make them feel excited, um, and, I feel like they tell you how beautiful you are or how handsome you are because I'm looking at the cards that fell out, Page of Wands, the universe. So we see a depiction of Miss Universe here. They tell you, you know, like you're the most beautiful, beautiful woman, man in the world, uh, person in the world, uh, attractive person in the world, like you're the only person for me and there is a beauty within you inside and out. Uh, they tell you that you have a heart that is so deep that they haven't felt as seen as they do with you, that they feel like they have a really deep connection with you, that they really appreciate your beautiful traits and how compassionate and open and empathetic you are to them. They'd feel like with you, they can put their defenses and guard down and really put an effort towards the connection. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like that vibe of like, this is faded, this is meant to be, uh, this is such a successful, happy relationship, I'm so happy to be in it, like, all that energy, like, they'd say all of that at once, where, you know, you may not even be able to catch everything, they may talk really fast, or they may talk in circles and be like, what was I saying? <laughs> um, I feel that vibe and since we have a star at the back of the deck, you know, they may even want to speak about hopes or wishes for the future or healing some past things that happened between the two of you and even as I look at the cards, 
the cards are getting much brighter and much colorful to me so you know like they may say something like you bring a lot of color or joy into their life you make their life bright and vivid and they can't imagine their life without you you fulfill them you fill their cup up with joy with love where it overflows <laughs> and i'm hearing and i couldn't have asked for better like you exceeded my expectations we have the six of pentacles i feel like they'd want to give a lot to you in terms of their words a generous amount of words um, or they'd want to spoil you, take you out on a date, like I said before, or um, give you a lot of compliments, you know, give you a lot of words that allow you to see they're coming from a truthful place with the justice scales here and that they want to give to you and the connection. They may say they love the way you're dressed or the way your makeup or hair is done if you do makeup okay so you see all these cards just want to fall out at once like they have a lot to say to you the page of wands they tell you how excited they are to see you okay they tell you they like the, i feel like a kid in this person's energy like even i'm talking all over the place like i feel like this person just feels so excited and i feel like breathing deeply like i'm so excited like <laughs> I feel that energy from them. This person is a vibe. Like, I don't know. I like their energy. Um, okay, we have the sun card. They tell you how happy you make them. And look at the magical unicorn. <laughs> you take them to a whole nother realm. You're out of this world, my pile number twos. We have the three of pentacles. They tell you they want to work together with you, not against you. Like, they want to build trust with you. They want to build a connection with you. They want to, you know, put in the effort. They want to show you they care. I'm hearing um, that song by many tr men I trust. <laughs> Even I'm, like, talking with my words so quickly. I'm hearing the song, Men I Trust, Show Me Love, Show Me How You Care, something like that. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. And I feel like this is challenges they want to heal from the past. I'll just clarify what that is. The Wheel of Fortune again. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune loves you and Page of Wands <laughs> in this reading. Um, and then we also have the Ace of Swords. If you hear kids playing outside, I apologize in advance. Okay, so I want to talk about the cards here quickly. So let me just take one last sip. <laughs> Some of you may have definitely been drawn to pile number one. And if you want to hear more of that healing messages and the I'm sorry messages, I, su I suggest you watch that. Um, with the Seven of Swords, you know, they may speak about things they have done where they have not realized they were in the wrong or they have not realized how they've hurt you, you know, by maybe having their defenses up, by not being self-aware by their communication. I don't know. It's different for all of you, but they may admit to what they have done wrong in the past and how they can fix that with the three of pentacles, how they can fix this challenge that is causing a constraint within your connection. They will speak their mind with the ace of swords. You know, you'll hear all the mind chatter come out <laughs> okay and with the wheel of fortune like i said they tell you they feel like this is faded they feel like this is meant to be with the queen of pentacles they will tell you when they are drunk or high that you're someone that's so down to earth so humble this gives me a uh, girl next door boy next door vibes and this type of energy of you being like a peacock but being so humble and you know the peacock symbolism is someone that stands out 
Um, and the peacock lets out its feathers to attract its mate, you know, and I don't know much about the peacock, but I've read something about, like, the most beautiful ones. I'm not sure if it's true. And, yeah, like, maybe you're the most beautiful person to them in, like, the whole world. Do you get what I mean? Regardless of your gender. Um, I feel like they tell you you're beautiful and personality and soul maybe they'd even want to spoil you with monetary things like buy you a gift or take you out on a date like I said before so we are getting repeat messages we have the six of swords I'm gonna end off your reading soon we have the nine of pentacles because the sun's gonna set soon and I still need to get to pile three but I really enjoyed this with you so clarify the seven of swords please spirit we have the eight of swords as well as the nine of cups so I get this vibe of like I maybe seven of swords is not like a bad energy but like maybe sometimes like this person may say like maybe sometimes I don't realize what I have until it's gone or like maybe I don't appreciate you enough because you are my wish come true but like maybe I'm not showing you enough or sharing that enough with my words and like maybe you're not aware of how I feel or not aware of like if I'm trustworthy or anything like that. So, I feel here they tell you they don't want you to feel stuck. They don't want you to feel like you don't know where they are or where they stand with their feelings and where they want to be in your connection. You know, they'd really open up what is going on in their mind and tell you they want to grow with you, tell you that you are their wish come true. I mean, the Nine of Cups loves to come out in your reading. <laughs> So there is more confirmation here. Um, and since we have this Eight of Swords with this tying up energy, <laughs> maybe there would be some spicy, I'm hearing, love making art. <laughs> so I think this is where I'm going to leave your reading. You know, they really want something to change for the better here, to grow with you for the long run. So this is what I see for you. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my Palama 3s, if you chose this green adventuring crystal and the card Fearless Love, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what would they tell you if they were drunk or high? <laughs> So please be aware this is a general reading, only take resonates, leave the rest. Um, I'm drinking a little bit of juice here, wink wink. Okay, so if you'd love to have a snack or a drink with me, you're more than welcome to and just chill with me. You know, spend this time with me. So the card you chose was from the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. We're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck, the Vanessa Tarot Messages from Mermaids Oracle, and the Queer Tarot. So let's get started with your reading. So as soon as I tapped into the energy, I heard the word obsession. Um, but obsession, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Something along those lines, like... <laughs> I don't know like when I see it in my mind I kind of like see this person wanting to like dance with you in my mind's eye you know like wanting to be with you physically and this is a theme I've seen in all three piles um but it's like I feel they want to touch your skin there's something so soft about your skin that's what I feel here they tell you they are obsessed with you but not in a creepy way in a sexy way okay <laughs> I feel like I'm hearing them say you know I can't stop thinking about you or I can't get enough of you and I was also hearing that song lost without you also you chose the green aventurine crystal and this crystal is all about good luck so you know they may say that they feel really lucky 
uh, to even be with you, to have you in their life, okay? This is something they may say to you. They may say to you that your love feels like gold, your love feels like the biggest blessing they could have ever had or could have ever received. Um, since there are peacock feathers next to her, they may tell you that you are someone that really stands out. You know, a peacock is is an animal that has a lot of beauty. You know, it's beautiful, colorful feathers. So I feel like this person may say to you that you bring a lot of color into their lives. Some of you may be drawn to pound too, by the way. Um, that you may bring a lot of color into their lives, that you may just stand out, that you may be very beautiful, very handsome, or very sexy. I feel a sensuality with you, like a soft, romantic sensuality. Like, in my mind, I'm seeing the tango and, like, two people dance and, like, it's like they're not even touching each other physically, but, like, there is so much sexual tension in the room. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, so they may not physically tell you like their sexual tension, but you may feel it in the room. Like I said, I feel like they'd want to be with you by your side. They'd want to touch you, touch all over your body. I see something about like uh, some of you like playing with this person's hair or them playing with your hair and like talking to each other and like lying on the bed or something and like them touching your skin or kissing your skin or something like that. Um, I see something like that and like them saying that like you look very good in what you're wearing. I see something about that and I'm hearing like you smell really good. Uh, there's something about you smelling like they want to taste you. <laughs> I did not expect that message. Okay. Um, and I'm looking at the plants in the background and I'm feeling this vibe of like them wanting to grow with you. You know, so they may tell you that you're very graceful, that you're very beautiful. They may tell you that you're very juicy, <laughs> that uh, they can't resist you. And, like, they feel a lot of romance between the two of you. I feel like them getting lost in your eyes or, like, don't want to stop looking in your eyes. <laughs> um, and I feel like the vibe between you and this person is, like, you two can just stare into each other's eyes or just sit next to each other and it's, like, no words have to be spoken, but you know how the other person is feeling. I I'm clairvoyantly seeing a pregnant woman so I don't know if some of you have a child with this person it may not resonate with everyone but I'm seeing that or like maybe they'd say I want to put a baby in you if you're a woman watching this asking about a man may not resonate with everyone like I said um but I'm also seeing the vibe of like they wouldn't want to get drunk without you like I'm seeing they'd want to <laughs> they'd want to do it with you like, they'd want to invite you in on the fun, um, or at least bring the fun to you and your home and come over to you, or have you come over to them, um, or, ha like, book out a hotel room, because this vibe here from this card gives me the vibe of luxury, even the green of entry, and, like, um, maybe they would want to pay money to have a hotel room and, you know, do something very sweet, very romantic, uh, very sensual, <laughs> okay, where you get, like, room service and you're, you know, drinking together or something. So, I feel what they'd also say to you is that they are proud of you, like, I'm hearing I'm proud of you. There's something, like, here where they're really proud of you for something, okay? I'm not sure what this is. They tell you that it looks like you look happy and they want to make you happy for the rest of your life. They want to fearlessly love you and they want you to fearlessly love them. They want to have, you know, trust between the two of you. And I'm not feeling like it's just like, oh, trust me, blah, blah, blah. It's more so like I want to, I want to pour into you. I want to make you happy. I want to show you a reason why you can trust me, why you can love me fearlessly. You know, I want to spoil you. I want to treat you good. 
Like that's the vibe I get from this card. And it doesn't have to be materially, but it can be spoiling you with their love, with their affection, you know. And I feel like this person has seen you gain more self-love over some time. They've seen you change in the best possible way and grow in the best possible way. And they may say to you, like, I want to grow with you. I want to be a better person with you. Like, you inspire me to be a better person. I feel that energy. There's just something so romantic and sensual about the two of yours energies. Like, I'm almost seeing you two as, like, energy move together and, like, hold on to each other. And it's like this. Like... You're moving together at the same time in sync um, as energy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this in words, but like I'm seeing it clairvoyantly. And there's like so much of this romantic sensuality and this feeling of like you two being in sync or in flow. It's like that hot, passionate energy, but it's not like overly sensual. It's it has a romantic essence to it. Does that make sense? So let's take a look at your cards. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, we have a card here. <laughs> Desire. <laughs> this was not planned. Like, it was in between the cards. So, they desire you. They desire you. That's what they tell you. <laughs> the spirit guides on my pile number threes. What would they tell my pile number threes if they were drunk or high? We have child of the cosmos with the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Some of you may be very intuitive, very mystical. There is this mystique to you. The loyalty card also wants to come out. Now I'm hearing that song, loyalty, 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 something like that. <laughs> So, I feel like this is confirmation that you can trust this person. Um, let's use this oracle deck. And then I'm going to take a sip of a drink. <laughs> so, spirit guides of my pile number threes. Uh, what would they tell my pile number threes if they were drunk or high? We have contemplation. I feel like they tell you what's on their mind. Whoa, at the back of the, this deck, we have inner knowing. So this intuition message is coming out again and again. And then we also have the golden children with inner child tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts at the back of the deck. So there's also an innocence to this love, to this vibe, to this connection. And I feel there's this energy of like them wanting to tell you what's on their mind. I'm hearing a song by Skin Shape. I just want to make sure what the song is called. And by the way, like, I'm trying not to rush your reading because it's sunset now. Like, the sun is going to go down. Um, but maybe that's a sign for, like, your reading and what they would tell you. Maybe they would um, want to come to you when the sun sets or before the sun goes down, before it's dark. Like, maybe they'd try to come to you and not rush towards you, but, like, because I don't want to make you feel, I, I feel like, <laughs> what am I saying here? Like, maybe this is them, even when they talk to you, like, they may talk in circles, or they may over explain, or they may, like, stutter a little bit, um, because they care about what you think. But it's like they want to be on time for you, they want to make an effort to show you that they care. Uh, they want to be at you before it's nighttime. They want to show you that you can trust them. You know, like I said, there's an innocence to this love, but it's not just, it's not just sensual. It's kind of like, I feel like this person would tell you, you know, like, I don't want just that with you. Like, 
I want to hold hands with you and eat ice cream with you. Like, I want to be playful with you, make jokes with you, have a friendship with you, uh, laugh together until we snort, um, like, snort a drink out of our nose or something. Like, just be very silly together. Maybe not exactly the way I'm seeing it, like, by spirit explaining an example, but... That type of energy of like, I want to spend the little moments with you, cherish the little memories with you. This is what they may say and what they may do. And I'm seeing them drive really fast to you, like not wanting to be by you late at night and make you think that's all they want, okay? Okay, so the song is called Inside by Skin Shape and it's kind of like, I want to know what you're thinking, how you're doing, how you're feeling inside. Will you let me, show me, give me, tell me what's on your mind? But I feel like on this case, like this person would want to tell you everything they've been thinking about that's on their mind, even things about their day. Like I feel this not just when they're drunk or high, but just like every day, they'd want to let you a little bit on things that are on their mind and things that they're thinking about, things about your future, you know, their work, their studies with the Ten of Wands, their responsibilities, tell you about their day. Like, that's what I feel here. You know, they want to let you in on a piece of their mind and they want to explore your mind too. We have the Emperor here. So I'm getting the vibe with the Emperor. Since this person is speaking to a whole crowd, it's like they may speak to you in a sense where it's sort of like they're giving a speech but not really giving a speech. What I mean by this is, Spirit, please explain what this energy is. I'm clairvoyantly seeing someone write down what they want to say to you, practice it on a letter, say it over and over and over again, and then say it to you in person. <laughs> I don't know, like this person feels a little bit shy in front of you, feels like they want to impress you in some way, feels like they want to, they want you to see them in a good light, you know, and I get that vibe there. <laughs> and with the intuition card that keeps coming up, you know, this person Oh my gosh, the moon is at the back of the deck. This person may say that their intuition is drawing them towards you. Like, you know, like, I don't know why I'm so drawn to you, but I'm drawn to you. And something is telling me, like, this is real. Something is telling me I can open up to love you and fearlessly open up to this connection. And something is telling me this feels right. And I'm going to trust that feeling. Like, I feel that energy, okay? Why do we have the devil here? Okay. <laughs> this person's wearing lingerie, I want to show you. So, I feel a seduction here. <laughs> Maybe they'd have a little bit of a sexy talk with you. Uh, let you in on a little bit of their fantasies. Or what they want to do to you. <laughs> It may show you. We have the temperance card. I'm hearing I'm not like the rest. Okay, we have the four of pentacles. We have the two of swords. So let's just do this. Oh gosh. I don't like it when the cards get wet. Give me a second. <laughs> But maybe this wetness, I'm just using a tissue, maybe this wetness is symbolic for a sensuality. <laughs> uh, even here we see wetness in the temperance card. Like, I'm not trying to make this reading um, like that, but we see it here. <laughs> um, and I feel like they tell you, you know, like, if I do have any toxic traits... I'm hearing, like, I want you to let me know. I want you to call me out on it um, so that I can work on it, so I can make a choice to work on it so that I can keep you in my life because you're important to me and I want to keep you in my life. 
And even here, she's wearing like something on the inside here and her leg is showing and it looks very seductive. So I feel like they'd want to see what's underneath your clothes. <laughs> uh, spirit guides on my pile number threes. What would they say to them if they were drunk or high? The Ace of Pentacles. So I'm hearing the word radical acceptance. Like, I accept you as you are, and I hope you can accept me as I am, but you know how I said something earlier, like, I want to grow with you, I'm hearing I want to grow old with you, take it as it resonates, I want to grow as a person with you, I want to become a better person with you, because the devil's next to the temperance card, so... You know, this person may say, you know, like, I'm not perfect, you know, I've made some decisions in my life that I'm not proud of, but I want to grow with you. I want to become a better person with you. I want to be held accountable in this connection. And with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel this energy of spending money. So maybe taking on a date, like I said, booking a hotel room. Uh, ordering takeout with you, um, ordering some uh, drinks with you, <laughs> uh, with the four of pentacles, I get this vibe of like them wanting to hug you or hold you close or maybe saying like I want to hug you, I want to hold you close, I want to smell your hair, I want to smell you. I'm looking at the crown here and I'm hearing like you're my princess, you're my queen, you're my prince, you're my king, something like that. We have the sun. So they tell you how happy you make them, how much happiness you bring into their life. We have the chariot. Um, so this is really weird, but like, I don't know if my next door neighbor is playing music, but very faintly and it sounds like piano like jazz or something or like piano like music or jazz or something so maybe they'd want to play music for you like soft romantic music when they're with you I feel this person wants to be with you they want to spend time with you and if they were to say these things to you they'd say it over the phone and be like you know I want to be with you I want to physically be with you right now with the chariot, I'm also getting the vibe of travel or like flying you out for those in long distance relationships. It may not resonate with everyone. Take it as it resonates. They'd say that you're so magical, so mystical, and there's something about that that is so sexy. <laughs> okay. Let me have uh, another sip and then pull some more cards. And yeah, I'm hearing music in the background. So definitely something about music. They'd say to you, you're so dreamy. I feel like this person wants to taste your lips or taste you. <laughs> we have the Six of Cups. They may bring up something from the past they want to heal with you. Queen of Swords. I still feel this dreamy vibe from you. Like them feeling a dreamy vibe from you. Because she's in the clouds. Or you being so angelic to this person. Or making them feel like their head is in the clouds. <laughs> that song, Yes to Heaven, may be significant. Like, maybe you are, like, heaven or a paradise to this person. I'm clairvoyantly seeing, you know, like, those very luxurious chocolates that taste so good that you want to savor, that you can't eat every one of them. And, like, you want to eat it one at a time because you want to savor it. Like, I'm seeing you being like that to this person. Does that make sense? So, I don't know exactly how to explain that, but I'm seeing... But I'm seeing that and I guess with the Queen of Swords, they'd speak to you a lot and 
I feel with the opposite, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, they may say, you know, like, what do you want to do? Do you want to go on a date? Do you want to stay at home? Like, they may ask you, like, what do you want to do? Or um, what do you physically want from this connection? Or like, what can I do to make you more comfortable? Something along those lines, like, I'm feeling that energy. Or they may talk about physical new beginnings they could have with you, like how you two could level up the relationship and grow together, you know, with the chariot I see it as like they see a future with you. And with the Queen of Swords, I feel like they'd want to speak a lot to you, but they'd also want to hear your voice and hear your opinion on things. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they want to say, you know, like they want to consistently move towards you with honesty because it came out with a justice card and like that's all they want to do with you. And we have the hermit here. So like I'm hearing a song by the Marias and it's like all I really want is you. <laughs> It's a very beautiful song and you know her vibe from that um it's I don't think it's a music video but I think it's like a song album cover like that vibe perfectly describes that sensual romantic energy I felt in the beginning just go look at that album art cover and listen to that song if you don't listen to any other songs that's cool but listen to that song cuz like that vibe is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe even like today, today's vibe, like what is that song? Smooth Operator. Something like that explains the vibe I was feeling in the beginning. So I'm sharing, <laughs> I'm sharing my few last sips with you. You're very special, pal. Uh, we have the King of Swords. sweet like sugar <laughs> this is sweet like sugar so maybe you're sweet like sugar uh we have the knight of wands and at the back of the deck we have the two of cups <laughs> i just got a sensual image of like um <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say this on camera. Licking a cat as I looked at this cat. <laughs> um, if you know, you know what I'll mean. If you know, you'll know. I'm not going to say it on camera. Um, that may only resonate with women watching. Um, but there may be some type of vibe of licking here. Like licking. <laughs> um... I feel like they'd say to you if they were drunk or high. I feel like they'd want to pour a glass for both of you and share it with you and talk to you. And if you were to go out, I feel like you'd be on the dance floor together. Like they wouldn't want to text you. They'd take you on the dance floor with them. Does that make sense? And then take you home after. <laughs> um... I feel with the hermit, they want to be self-aware. They want to go within with you and, like, come to you with honesty with the justice card. They want to make logical decisions here in the connection with the king of swords that is going to improve the connection in the long term. Okay? They want to show you that they are trustworthy. But they may also have some sexy talk here with the Knight of Wands. So I think this is all I have for you, my pile number threes. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!